Welcome back. So right now the Git checkout is at version 11. So you have to do that if you want to get my code. I made a few changes already. So the first change I made is inside the login component. I started adding just the first property here, which is going to be that we can add a error if we sign in and we fail. Just to get a message saying uh, login failed because yada yada yada, right? So we can now begin to actually put in an error message inside our login screen. Now the other thing that I worked with is adding this p tag where we use the sign uh, the ngf right and the ngf is a way for me to say don't show this p tag unless that this if statement is valid so if sign in error um, is there so it's not undefined or null and the length of it is above zero meaning there's some actual text in here then show this p tag okay so what is the p tag going to show us it's going to right now i added some style here we'll move that in a second but it's going to add a red font, a uh, small font that's going to just display the text, the error, like you, you log in failed, you need to try again, something like that, depending on what we write later. Then I add some kind of exclamation mark, just showing this is an error, and then I kind of just show the text. So let's just also add, as the final thing before I show you guys, I'll just in the constructor here, I'll make an actual, I'll set this that sign in error, to actually be something in the beginning and let's just set it to wrong password like this oh that wasn't even spelled right doesn't matter so let's go in here now you'll see there how it looks so this is actually what i want to achieve so when i log in i want this to pop up remember we're building a full featured component here so the login is a lot more than what you would expect when i say build a login module you might think oh that'll be an hour of work but there's so much inside a login dialog this is just one of them, but now we can actually also display a message inside the login page. But I want to go further because I don't want this message to be hard-coded inside the current component. I actually want this to be something I put in from the outside. So again, I require to add the input right here. So I'm going to add this input, remember to capitalize it, and then have parentheses in the end. And then either I just control space if in your if you're inside webstorm and then it'll automatically add this input up here that it pulls from the core library so now it's actually an input field that we can pull in from the outside so i don't need this anymore i just i can get it whenever i use this component somewhere so that was actually all i wanted to do this lesson so now you've seen kind of this guy show up as an error and next lesson we're going to try and use it somewhere so see you in the next lesson have fun